I'm back. <laughs> I'm ready and refreshed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so it's, still, it's September, but still, technically, it's summer. So we're gonna try to hold on to that summer fun. How we're gonna do that is watermelon. Now watermelon, it's a summer staple. You really can't have summer without watermelon. But I wanted to utilize it in kind of a different way, but still maintain its like summery, poolside, cookout, picnic vibe. So I found this recipe for watermelon salsa. Welcome to my kitchen. is it's refreshing. It's sweet, it's a little bit spicy from the jalapeno, it's got those, um, the lime, so it's got like little citrus notes underneath, and then it's got like some mint, so it's just kind of like, just, you, you know what I mean? Like, like, it's just, and it all comes together, and it's just basically summer in a bowl, and oh, it's so good. So, let's dive right in. All right, so we're gonna start by cutting up, of course, our watermelon. And the best way to do that is a little hack that I found using this, dental floss. Yeah, I know, strange, right? But trust me, once you do this, you'll never go back. What we're gonna do is just wrap this tightly around one of your fingers. So what we're trying to do is create like a garrity. I know, right? Look at me using technical terms. Um, <laughs> and so what we're gonna do is we're just going to start at just, just right where the watermelon meets the rind at one end. And we're just going to push this down and we're working our way down and around underneath between the rind and the actual watermelon. This is being a diva, so it's not as easy as it should be, but normally it is. It's just this particular watermelon. So if it's the watermelon, it's, it's the watermelon. It's not me, I promise. But once you get it all through, then you have it nice and separated and it's ready to slice and dice. Perfect, now we're just gonna go ahead and put that in a bowl. Set that to the side, and then we're gonna dice up our red onion. All right, now how we're gonna do this is it's gonna be a little bit of a geometry involved, so stick with it, okay? Now we wanna make sure that the root end is on the far side of you, and you wanna make sure that you still have the root attached. And this is just a half of a red onion, obviously. And so what we're gonna start doing is we're going to slice it horizontally from the bottom to the top. And you can make this as big or as little as you like, depending on your preference. You don't wanna slice all the way through because you wanna make sure that it stays together as you're going through the whole process. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to slice vertically, right? And so that's going to kind of create two sides of our square, I think, whatever. So slice vertically. All right, and now we're gonna slice vertically again, but perpendicular to our other vertical slice, and that's gonna give us our nice little dice. Beautiful. All right, and then that goes into the bowl. 
And the next thing that we're working on is our jalapeno. So what we want to do is just slice off the top and then we're going to just discard that. And then we're going to slice it in half. Now what we want to do is just kind of remove um, the white part along with the seeds. So we're just going to take a small spoon and we're just going to scrape along it to remove it all. Now, if you want some extra heat, you can kind of leave some of the seeds in there because that's where a lot of the heat comes from um, in the peppers. But if not, discard it or use it for something else. All right, and then from there, we're just going to get these sliced up and then diced up. Beautiful. All right, so now I have some mint. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the leaves and we're gonna stack them on top of each other. And then we're gonna roll these into a blunt or a cigarette or a cigar, however you wanna do it. All right, and then once that's rolled up nice and tight, now we're just going to get this sliced up and we're just kind of creating little ribbons when we're slicing across it. Perfect. All right, and then this just goes into the bowl, and then we're gonna work on our cilantro. And for the cilantro, you just wanna remove as much stem as you possibly can, and then we're just gonna kinda of get this tried, kinda of like bunched up into a little ball. And then we're just gonna get this sliced up. Perfect. All right, this goes into the bowl, and the next thing that we need is the juice of one lime. I'm gonna cut my lime in half, and we're just going to juice this right in. If you want kind of like an extra citrusy punch, then you can also use the zest of the lime as well. Beautiful. Now we're just gonna give this all a really good mix. But wait, that's not all. Of course you're gonna need some tortilla chips to go with this, so let's just make some of our own. All right, and how we're gonna do that? That's gonna start with corn tortillas. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to take a stack of corn tortillas and we're going to divide this into six, and that way you'll have some nice tortilla triangles. And from here, we're just gonna give them a little fry. So I have a pot with about an inch of oil and we're gonna heat it up to 350 degrees. And then we're just going to place in our tortilla triangles. And we're just gonna fry those up for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds. And you're gonna flip them over. You just wanna make sure that, that each side is nicely, nicely golden brown. Beautiful. Now we're just gonna place these into a bowl. And then I like to sprinkle on our salt right then and there. And this will help because it still has a little bit of oil on it and that'll help the salt stick to the chips. Give that a toss. And then I'm just gonna place these on a wire rack to completely drain. And I'm gonna get the rest of my tortillas fried up. And then we are ready to enjoy this summery deliciousness in a bowl. I hope you get inspiration from my kitchen. Like and subscribe to come back for more and comment below if you're definitely ready for this watermelon salsa and if you're ready for summer not to be over. Summer, stay here, please. <laughs> you can connect with me on any of my social media listed below. Thank you bunches for joining me. I'll catch you back here for more deliciousness.